There are many features in OneNote that make it a great platform for your math and science lessons. Replay. Students can replay any multi-step process, such as a math problem. By being able to review the process back and forth, they can better understand and practice the steps until they master it. To replay a part of the screen, students go to the View menu and then choose the Replay button. Then they click and drag to select a portion of the screen they would like to see replayed. They can watch the content on the screen as it was written by the teacher. Something for a teacher to know is that it will record your pen strokes in action, but if you make a mistake and erase, it will only record your final pen strokes, not anything erased. It will be like there was never a mistake in the first place. The ruler is another useful tool. When you go to the Draw tab and click on the Ruler tool, it appears on the screen. It shows centimeters to scale and gives the rotation in degrees like a protractor. There are one, two, three ways to get the ruler into the position you want. One finger touch moves the ruler around the screen. Two finger touch pivots the ruler around in one degree increments. Three finger touch pivots the ruler around in five degree increments. Useful for setting the ruler at zero degrees or 90 degrees. Slide your stylus, mouse, or draw with touch and the ink line snaps to the ruler. Click the ruler button again to make the ruler disappear. Ink to shape. If you want to quickly draw shapes for a geometry lesson, under the draw menu, choose ink to shape. Then when you draw a rough shape, OneNote will make a, a shape snap to the closest geometric shape that matches the proportion of what the teacher has done. This works for all kinds of triangles, rectangles, and ellipses. If you want more precise shapes drawn, go to the draw menu and click on the shapes button. You can draw a variety of lines, basic shapes, and if you would like to insert a graph, you can choose the kind of graph you want, click and drag down one axis, then click and drag along the other axis before dropping to get just the right size graph you would like. Math tools. Under the Insert menu or the Draw menu, you can find the Math Tools button. If we draw an equation on the page, under the Draw menu, I first clicked the Select button. Then I select my equation. I then click the Math Tools button, and the Math Tool menu displays the equation that OneNote thinks I wrote. I can click Fix It and then select a portion of the equation that OneNote didn't quite recognize and get a list of choices. This feature requires a little practice to get to know, but has a potentially big payoff for learning how to use it correctly. I can choose to convert my equation from ink to math, or I have other options based on the kind of math equation I've drawn. In this case, I can graph the equation, and then I can insert the graph on the page. I can also ask OneNote to solve my equation. And to show the steps for solving the equation. I can also insert these steps onto the page. And if I have trouble reading it, I can ask Immersive Reader to help me read the steps for the equation. In some cases, OneNote can use AI or artificial intelligence to generate a practice quiz. You can create a quiz in Forms and embed it directly on the page. The quiz can have between 1 to 20 questions.
If you are using a OneNote class notebook, you can distribute this page to your students by going to the notebook menu, choosing distribute page, and then distribute page. Students take the multiple choice quiz and then when they hit submit, it is immediately marked. Students can then review the questions they got right and which ones they got wrong. Teachers will get the results of this quiz saved in their OneDrive accounts automatically, which they can review or export the results to a spreadsheet. If you'd like to know more about using OneNote in class, please submit a lit request and a member of our team will be in touch with you shortly.